Hello, Nelson. Hello, Gwen, teacher. Good evening. Yesterday, I felt very sorry that you didn't have electricity. Yeah, I saw mm -hmm. your I saw your picture and I said like, I Nelson doesn't have electricity. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> ah, me imagino es que es que es tan complicado. Ayer todo estaba como como revuelto, estaba como raro todo. La electricidad, el internet, la lluvia, todo estaba como. Se sí, una tormenta buena que aquí lo quedamos en oscuro, se cayeron unos árboles. Bueno, la verdad que no sé ni a qué hora vino. Ay no. Ayer igual Jorge creo que tuvo un montón de problemas de conexión. Se iba, se venía, sí. iba a venir. Ay, Dios. Ayer. 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 Y aún en el, 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 el internet nada quedaba el, el modem. No, no imagen. So it is, it is, whenever it starts raining, it's a very complicated thing. Because yes. everything starts like getting crazy and you start like connecting, disconnecting and everything. Mm -hmm. But at least me for the classes, I have the cell phone, I have the cell phone charge all the time. So whatever thing happens, I have the phone <laughs> and, and I can just move to the phone. And I have mm -hmm. the internet on the phone connected to the computer. So if I lose the internet at home, I have the internet on the cell phone. So it's a, a complete logistics behind the, yeah. behind the class. <laughs> but I am very happy that today, at least it seems, it seems normal, right? It seems that we are not going to have. Here is it's raining, teacher. It's raining, my goodness. So it's going to come in a moment. <laughs> so like in 30 minutes, it will be raining here as well. The rain starts at 6 p.m. Uh, so, and it hasn't stopped. So yes, two hours, but, it's going to start raining here. But right now it's softly. Soft, it's soft, it's raining. It's just pouring. When you say it's pouring rain, it's like when it is like solo pringando, right? It's pouring. I will send it on the chat to you. Pouring rain. The good thing is the day is almost over. Yes, the day is almost over. And also the weather is fresh, I imagine. Uh, by the, the air conditioner. <laughs> So outside is hot either way. Outside is very, very hot. Oh my goodness. So the rain is not helping that much. No. Okay, Juan de Dios, welcome. Mr. Jose Carlos, welcome. They are they are there. But Tatiana Michelle is also here. Well, it is a pleasure to have you all in class to be here once again, and for sure to have the opportunity to share a little bit more on all the things that we have been working, right? Today is our class number 17, right? Today is our class number 17, and we are going to work a bit on uh, the different uh, vocabulary. We're going to have a little practice on uh, the connectors, we're going to work a bit on that. And we're going to also work in uh, some clauses, right? We're going to work on the if clauses. I don't know if you have heard about this before. ¿Ya han escuchado acerca de las if clauses? I hear about that, but I don't understand. <laughs> you, 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 don't, you didn't understand them. Well. The if clauses are not really complicated indeed, but many people make them look complicated because they want to feel like powerful at the moment of teaching English. The if clauses are just like sentences that you use to express situations and results in the future. For example, the one that we are going to study today is the basic clause, right? The first one that it's about the things that are happening and the results in the future, right? That certain things are uncertain, that you know that if you do something right now, it will have a consequence in the future. For example, what happens if you don't connect to classes? 
¿Qué pasa si no se conectan a las clases? A ver. I don't learn English. You don't learn English. You miss the attendance. Right? Uh, you are not going to... You don't approve the module, right? So you see, it has many consequences. You are not going to have the 80%, right? You are not going to have the 80% of, of what is required on the level. And those are the situations, right? For example, what happens if you forget the cell phone at home? Uh -huh. What are the consequences? Be a lot of consequences. <laughs> what happens if you leave uh, if you leave your unblocked cell phone at home? Nobody can call me. <laughs> nobody, nobody will be able to call you, right? What other thing might happen? ¿Qué más podría pasar? If you leave your cell phone at home. Uh -huh. Opportunities to maybe if I I I win the lottery. <laughs> I lose opportunities, right? I, imagine if you work on sales. Imagínense que está en el área de ventas. And you forget the cell phone at home. I lose the commission. We you... are lost. <laughs> we are lost, they say. Yeah, for sure. You are going to lose a your... lot of money. You are going to lose a lot of money, right? You are going to sell, lose sell, a... selling by cell phone. Yes. You 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 could be selling by your cell phone and you don't have it, right? So that is the first clause that we're going to study today, right? If I forget my cell phone at home, I will lose all my clients, right? If I don't do the homework, I will not have the opportunity to practice. If I don't attend classes, I will fail the module, right? That is the first type of conditionals that we are going to study today. Well, but before everything, I am very glad to have you here. Let's remember the agreements for our class, right, Claudita? Welcome. We were missing you yesterday. Le extrañamos un montón. Sí, Nosotros ayer. ¿Dónde estaba Claudita? We were crying yesterday. Okay, remember to practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time. I am going to require and to remember on this one, right? Remember that it is uh, obligatory to have your cameras on during the uh, 60 minutes, uh, the 60, the 120 minutes of the class for you to keep with the requirement. Why? Because uh, they are constantly checking on... Uh, on your connection and the video time that you have on the class. And that's a very important thing, right, to keep in mind. The next one, keep your microphones off if we are not using them. Attend all your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group and work on the platform every single day. So thank you for all the ones who already completed section number three and for the ones that are starting to work on section four, right? When we come back from vacations, we are going to have the closing activities of the, of the module. We are going to have the evaluation, right? We are going to have the, the different, uh, well, the, I think there is a form that you filled out. Hay una evaluación de satisfacción al final que llenamos, and that's what we are going to do when we come back, right? Eso se hace el último día de clases. And we are going to have some final evaluations, we are going to have some presentations, so it's going to be a full of activities week when we come back from vacation, okay? So relax a lot, because when we come back, we are going to have a lot of work to do. And uh, I am not going to give you homework on vacation, no le voy a dejar tarea en vacaciones, pero sí le voy a dejar unos cuantos ahí links por si quieren practicar, okay? I am not going to give you homework because vacation is vacation, but I will love you to practice. 
I'm going to leave you there a couple of links for you to practice reading, listening, speaking, writing, and for you to take advantage, right? Si van camino al cuco allá y el camino es largo and you want to practice, you can do it, okay? O si de repente las dos horas antes de meterse a la piscina, you want to practice again, then you can use it, right? That would be nice. Instead of watching TikTok, watch the links. <laughs> I am going to send you a couple of things for you to practice, but not as homework. And uh, for sure, work on the platform for the rest of activities that are missing. As I told you before, <clears throat> today is our class number 17. Today is our class number 17, and we're going to study when and if. And we're going to do a little review of the different topics that we have had during this final phase, okay? Highlights about your day. I am going to ask a couple of you to tell me a little bit of how your day was. What were some of the activities that you do and how do you feel right now here in the class? ¿Cómo nos sentimos este día? ¿Qué tal fue? ¿Cómo les fue? ¿Y qué hicieron? Tell me a little bit, Claudia Maria. Well, for me, it was very difficult day. I have a lot of problems in my job, <laughs> but here I am. <laughs> to work with many people so it's kind of stressing when they don't want to have a good attitude so you have to deal with it you have to you had to deal with it yesterday we were talking about exactly that topic how to deal with professional environment, how to work with difficult situations and how to make your environment a lot more enjoyable. That was something that we were talking about yesterday. But thank God you are here, Claudia Maria. Are you at home right now or at your yes, office? I'm home. Okay. Thanks, good. God. Thank God. Thank God you are at home. Very good. Thank you very much. And let's see, I am going to ask uh, Dianita, how was your day? Good evening. Good evening. Um, my day was pretty normal today. I didn't have too much work to do. I just went to the office this day, but only in the morning. Then I went to eat to Galerias and then I came home. You and, came home. <laughs> yes. And I was just waiting for the class. Hey, that's pretty awesome, right? You went out to eat. That it's pretty nice. Yeah, one day I'm going to find you there in Gallery. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. So let me see. Hey, well, Rosie is eating. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> uh, Yvette, tell me a little bit how your day was. Mm, very, very stressful. Um, I am so tired. <laughs> I imagine. Yeah, the traffic uh, yeah, is not uh, so terrible that yesterday. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I arrived. I arrived early uh, today. <laughs> hey, you arrived earlier, er, early today. Yesterday, the traffic was horrible, horrible. but horrible. horrible. My my, I was I was coming back from work with my husband, but he was like going on one street full, going on another street full, going here full. I mean, everywhere was full, and I said like, uh, why don't these people stay at home? I said, <laughs> they are on the street. Yesterday, <laughs> almost uh, arrived eight, and yesterday, and, yes, uh, almost. Uh, finish dinner, uh, connect to the class. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really appreciate when you connect. Even if you are here, even if you are having your dinner, I mean, don't worry about that because I always say that I truly appreciate that you give me the chance to go to your house, to enter in your workplace, to enter in your privacy of home. So whatever type of activity you are doing, if you are eating, if you are finishing your dinner or doing something, that's correct. I mean, that's okay. 
but the idea that you are here, that you are devoting your time to learn, it says a lot about the professional future that you want. So don't worry about that, right? I really understand. If you have your cup of coffee near you, I always have it and I never drink it, but I always have it here. <laughs> Cheers. It's coffee, but, but it's good. <laughs> you know, I, I, I have Cheers. it. <laughs> Cheers. I always have it here, but I, yes. I never I never drink it. It's like pasos para hacer un café helado. Sírvalo y de la clase. <laughs> and then at the end of the class you you take it cold. So but I, I I really appreciate that fact that we are here together after a long day of work. So yesterday, what did we do yesterday? Tell me. Yesterday we did many things and we did a lot of discussion. Can you tell me a little bit of what we did? Dealing with different problems at work. How to deal with different problems at work. Very good. What else? We made a, a situation or... We made that, a conversation, yeah. right? A situation. That we, that we represent how we uh, used, we chose a picture and then we represent that, that picture. Exactly like that, right? We, oh. were, we were representing yeah. pictures, right? On different situations. And we were working on problems with the warehouse, right? Problems with the warehouse. There was a very disorganized warehouse. There was another one that was not labeled and you didn't know what the products were. And we had another issue with an angry bus, right? <laughs> so that's what we were basically doing yesterday. Well, my dear class, before we move into the topic of the day, I am going to call the attendance for the first time. And then uh, I know many of your friends are going to keep connecting. <laughs> Remember, when we listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Carolina Yamilet. She might be on traffic yet. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Christian Natalie. Hola. Hola. Ah, today is Tuesday, sorry. Diana Hola. Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Jose Rodrigo. Juan de Dios. Thank you very much. Uh, Linda Yvette. Manuel Antonio. Manuelito has in connect. Miguel Angel. Nelson. I'm here, teacher. Norma Carolina. Thank you, Normita. No, she hasn't come. Eh, Olga Marleni. Present. Rocio Veronica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Silvia Zuleima. Present, teacher. Tatiana Michelle. Tati is here, Tati, I saw her there. Okay, Tatiana is here, but I don't know, maybe she's having issues with the phone. Eh, Bill Maivet. She's saying in, in WhatsApp group that he's listening for his work. Ah, sorry, I haven't checked my phone, but thank you very much. Very good, hey. Teacher, estoy en mi trabajo, solo estoy comiendo. Okay, very good. Then. Manuel, it's uh, no, he's driving home. Someone is driving home. Okay, good. Let me see. Let's continue. Thank you very much, Rosie. I am going Welcome. with uh, Bill Maivet. Present. Marlene Nicole. Omar Francisco. Omar Francisco just connecting. Danny Anthony. No, right. Danny is not here today. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you, Omar. I already mark you on the on the attendance. Okay. 
So let's work. I marked Tatiana already. Okay, good. So based on this one, we're going to work today a little bit on what I was telling you, right? We are going to work on uh, the clauses, right? We had the attendance already. And yesterday, this was our last topic of the night, right? We were marking on the different order how things affect at the moment of uh, working and dealing with people, right? And we were working on the different levels of importance at the moment of working on this type of process, right? Or this type of issues, right? The one that affects uh, productivity the most and the one that least affects productivity. And some of the problems that we had was the inaccurate receives, receipts and purchase orders. Lack of communication between employees. Lack of cooperation between departments. Time management and the warehouse space and organization, okay? I need you to analyze these five situations because we are going to do some problem solving right now, right? Analyze the five situations and it doesn't matter the order or, or the importance that we gave them yesterday because that was the exercise we did yesterday. We are going to work right now on problem solving, right? How would you deal with these issues? ¿Qué harían ustedes para mejorar estas situaciones? I have inaccurate receipts and purchase orders, lack of communications between employees, lack of cooperation between departments, time management in the warehouse space and organization. We are going to work on one problem, right? We are going to choose one problem and we are going to work in couples. Right? We are going to work in couples, but I need you to work on one situation. Okay, With your couple, you are going to decide which situation do you want to solve and how will you do it? Right? How will you solve the problem with the inaccurate receipts and purchase orders? Maybe you can have a technological system to work on this, to have a little bit more care about a the different things that you do to have extra copies. I don't know, how will you solve it? How will you solve the lack of communication between employees? What activities will you do? The lack of cooperation between departments. What activities could you do in order to fix this issue? How do you improve time management? And how do you work on warehouse space and organization? Okay, so that is what we are going to do right now. I am going to create the couples and maybe I'm going to make little groups because I have two, one, two students that are just listening. So I am going to, to make a little bit bigger groups. And I need ideas on how to solve the issues, okay? Hoy vamos a hacer soluciones a los problemas. Yesterday you were talking about the problems and all the things that they cost. Today, we're going to give solutions to the different problems. I have, let me see, groups. I am going to make fewer groups. There you go. Yeah, groups of five. And let's try to give different solutions. Write down ideas. What will you do in order to solve the different situations? Choose only one issue, okay? De los cinco, de las cinco situaciones, escojan una y den, den ideas de cómo lo solventaríamos. ¿Qué harían ustedes para solventar esa situación? Imaginándose que ustedes son los jefes de su área. Okay, so we are going to work on that right now. I am going to send you to work in the groups. Do you have any question, people, before we go? ¿Alguna duda, pregunta antes de que nos vayamos a trabajar? Uh, one question, teacher. There. Yep, yep. Uh, we need to do ideas to how to solve the, the issues. Yes, you are going to give me solutions. How will you solve the situations? That's the only thing that you are going to do, to create ideas. What will you do in order to solve any of the issues? Choose one issue only, okay? That's what we are going to do, only ideas, okay? And let's go to work. We have groups of five and groups of four. Hello, Mr. Manuel. We're going to go and work in groups right now. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. 
you have to choose one of the issues that are presented and you are going to give ideas on how will you solve the situation. How will you improve a lack of communication? How will you improve lack of cooperation? How will you improve time management or warehouse space and organization, right? You are going to think on ideas on how will you solve the problem, okay? Great. Let's go to work. Okay, uh, Rocio, didn't you receive the invitation? Yeah. There you go. Ok, Omar, aún cuando estamos de oyentes, o Tati, si estamos de oyentes, tal vez nos podemos incorporar al grupo para oír lo que nuestros compañeros van a hacer y pues poder eh, saber qué es lo que están trabajando. Ok. Ok, ok, teacher. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I am going to go over and check how students are doing. Let me see. Um, Okay, let's go and visit the different rooms right now. If it is to improve the, the communication, one, one uh, opportunity to, to improve could be a group of WhatsApp. Mm. Could be, it could be, but they can use another uh, Activities. app. Uh, no, 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 app uh, instead of WhatsApp, they can use Teams, for example. I think it's a, uh, I don't know if, if that is a, uh, so it's not a, a, a social network, but it's a, uh, I don't know how to say mensajería. It's, it's for meetings. Like, it's for meetings, right? It's for meetings. But, but, but the problem is that it's, shots. I think it is paid. Pay. What? You have to pay, pay for it. Uh -huh. Ah, in the company. To have a, a corporative. But, okay, I, I was listening about the WhatsApp group. And they, they were saying that uh, they can use it for other activities. Don't you consider that mm -hmm. it would be good, it would be a good idea to have some rules in the group? Definitely. Yes, yes definitely. Yes. That people start sending TikToks, memes, <laughs> uh -huh. Just to resolve the problems. Exactly. Yeah. What, what about made activities between all the, the team to improve the relationship? 
Okay. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Continue building up with ideas. Very good. Continue working. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I think that is very important that the employees need uh, to feel comfortable to okay. the, to say their opinions, to oh. offer ideas, to report issues. Yes, and, I I remember yesterday. Uh, we we view this this topic a little and the top the top of the problem is 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 a lack of communication between employees yes ah okay okay yes in, in, so how would you how would you solve the problem of communication okay what will you do imagine that you are the boss and they say like Mire, jefe, me tiene que arreglar ese problema. El jefe sobre tu jefe. <laughs> Dice, like, no, bueno, él tiene que arreglar ahí con su equipo porque, mire, no se hablan, no, no trabajan. How would you do it? Ok. En uh, this, this situation, because it's a, a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, I consider uh, less to, to, to solve, in my opinion, it's necessary uh, to have frequently uh, meetings. Good. Continue working on the idea. Very good. Continue. Sorry. Uh-huh. Continue, continue, don't worry. Yo no estoy aquí. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we choose uh, lack, lack of communication between employers. Uh -huh. How are you going to solve it? Foster, uh, how can I say camaraderie? How can I Partnership, um, partnership. Partnership? To create partnership. Yeah. Uh -huh. How are you? How are you going to create partnership? Okay, uh, because if you say that you are going to to increase partnership, right? How are you going to do it? ¿Cómo van a incrementar esta camaradería? Actividades. I don't know. Team building activities. Team building activities. Okay. Team. Team building. Team building Team. activities. Construir equipo de camaraderie. Yeah, but team building activities son eh, estas actividades de liderazgo que se que oh, hacen oh, en okay. las. Yeah, you can you can also say leadership activities. Team building camaraderie. Team, no, team building es eh, las actividades para eh, crear lazos de camaradería. Pero team building es como para crear equipos, hacer como mejores team, equipos uh, de trabajo. Team building. Team, team building. Team building camaradería. No, camaradería es partnership. Partnership. Ah, okay. Partnership. So, in that case, you say, we need to increase partnership. How? Mm with team building activities, with leadership activities, with uh, getting together, with more social activities, with with workers, right? Those are the things that we can do, right? In order to increase communication between employees, that will be something to work on. What uh, other what other things do you consider necessary? We use um a formulary, formulary, a form, correos, form, a form of, or email, emails, good, very good. Okay, continue building the idea, and I'm going to come back in a second. Sigan armando la idea. Ya vuelvo. Okay. 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 I am going to add. Let me see. I'm going to go to the first room, and I'm going to come back in a moment. No, oh, no, 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 no. I think the correct word is spend. Spend, uh, spend time. time. Spend. Spend mm -hmm. time. Spend. 
Yeah. Yeah, because waste is for money. But right. spend, yeah. spend is, is correct. What, spend. what do you want to say? Spend time together? Spend time together. Yeah, do with the employees. Okay, spend, spend time. Spend time. With time. Pasar juntos, yeah. Because you say <laughs> past time, it's not <laughs> correct, right? You say nah. spend. 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 Mm -hmm. What about share? Yeah. Share. share you can say share. for example when you spend time it's like when you it's like quality time and you say like share it's like yeah like social right share time it's it's also correct but the most appropriate word is spent okay. Mm -hmm. okay. you can share activities you can share ideas you can share moments with them but about time the most appropriate mm -hmm. is uh, yeah. spent you share time with your sweetheart, for example, with your wife, with your husband, with your special people, mm -hmm. right? You share time together. It's like compartimos el tiempo junto. Because that's mm -hmm. a more like a lovely related thing. You share time together. But, but you spend of the time, time. Most of the time I, I share bread. You share? Bread. <laughs> <laughs> you share, you yeah, share but, bread. You share bread. I, I share my because bread. Because of that, I I'm looking for other work. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You you spent spent. That's the most appropriate one in that case. Okay. okay. Good. Thank and you. continue continue building the idea. We're coming back to the room in five minutes. Okay. Okay. So build up your one, idea. One question, teacher. Yep. How do you how do you say uh, repeat or or maybe when a company with all the employees go to the forest and make a camping or something like that? Ah, uh, those are team building activities. Building team activities. Team no team building. building. Team building. Team mm -hmm. building. Team building activities. Yes, team building activities. Son esas, esas actividades de, de que, que hacen juntos las empresas. Vea, que vamos todos allá. Team building. Vamos todos a tirarnos del cerro. Yay. <laughs> 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 Ay, no. Ay, no. <laughs> yeah, the, la, la, ¿Cuántas son las gradas del Cerro Verde? Mil o dos mil, no sé cuántas son. Tres mil. Tres mil. So you say you you are going to become better workers if you go with me. <laughs> okay, good. So that's uh, what we're doing. Please, uh, that's that. Those are team building activities, right? Or social activities, right? You can call them also social activities, on which you have this dinner together or lunch together with pizza yeah, right? yeah. but team building is like cuando hacemos como más cosas como vamos a ir juntos vamos a caminar juntos vamos a hacer estas actividades de liderazgo aquí. so those are team building okay okay so continue i'm going to check on the next group to see if they finished and we're going to go back they are going to be part of the resource at the end of the month and they are going to be feel part of the company too okay. and i don't know Maybe. let's okay. see they are going to feel part of the company yeah yes yeah that's that's nice okay i will leave the white one me estaba cambiando ropa al, al video. <laughs> okay, so, eh, do, you, do you have your ideas ready? Eh, is it still pending, Diana? Ah, Dianita. Okay. Eh, she, she, she is she's still <laughs> coming, <laughs> come on. Dianita viene llegando. Ah, okay. My internet is, is failing a lot. Yeah, it's a, the problem right now. Omar, Omar is working right now, but I asked him to join because he's listening. Oh, okay. Yes, but he's okay. working yes. right now. He's at the office. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
a few a few moments a few moments uh, before uh -huh. ago uh, we we are going to uh, to even the uh, different opinion about the top of uh, problem in the company uh -huh. lack of lack lack of communication uh -huh. and okay uh, when the dios uh, my person Rosita, we hear different uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, example, in my case, pues, uh, I, my opinion uh, about the uh, the companies uh, must be must uh, to have must have must have. Uh, meeting yes so you yeah, agree on know. that so you agree you three agree that meetings are important for you to yes. improve the communication uh -huh. because in this type of, of meetings uh, we we give ideas um, pro about problems and you you have the opportunity to, to meet the new co-workers or uh, know the different facilities um, of the company. Okay, that's very good, right? According to, to this group, meetings are very helpful at the moment of uh, fixing or improving the communication between workers. Besides the meetings, what other thing do you consider important? I think it's important to practice with the example. I don't know if you okay. say that. <laughs> Okay, to be uh, an example to follow. Uh, yes, to be an example to follow and be empathic. And, and, I, how do you say empathic? Empa Empath yeah, it's like empathetic. Empathic. empathetic. Or I think and... it's it's simple. Let me let me get the word because I think it's okay. empathic. Empathic, right? Empathic. Okay. Let me look for it. Okay. Okay. Empathico. I think it's it would be the same thing. That's the most the, the worst part of this. A veces en inglés usted busca la palabra y cree que va a ser totalmente distinta, and it's the same. <laughs> Okay, but continue with the idea. I'm going to look oh, for okay. it. And to use an assertive communication with all the team. <laughs> empathic. <laughs> empathic. Okay. empathic. Empathic, right? It's to be empathic with others and to use assertive communication. Good. To be assertive at the moment of speaking, right? And I think to, uh, to go straight to the point. That is very important because that's the main issue at companies, right? That you say like, sí, pero es que te quería decir que no que... I mean, you don't go to the point. I mean, it's like straight to the problem <laughs> without going around the bushes, okay? So let's go back and share with everybody else. Go ahead. Okay. Welcome, welcome. And here we go. Welcome back. Welcome back to your class. Okay. It is curious that the three groups agreed on the same thing. The three groups agreed on the same topic. Lack of communication between employees. And it is very curious because I didn't tell you to choose one. I didn't give you like, this is yours, this is yours, or this is yours. But you chose one and it was the same for the three groups, curiously. But it's like interesting because it is the one that affects the most. Well, based on the things that you were talking on your groups, I am going to ask one person on each of the groups to explain a bit of what you were mentioning. For group number one, I have Claudia Maria, Jorge, Olga, and Rocio. 
choose one person to express the ideas. For room number two, I have Diana, Juan, Manuel, and Rosa. So choose one person to express the ideas. And for room number three, I have Carolina, Yvette, Nelson, and Tatiana, who was a part of the listener for this uh, group. So choose a person to express your ideas. For group number one, who wants to share? Claudia, Jorge, Olga, or Rocio? We share uh, the number two, lack of communication between employees. Good. And we think about this, uh, the team building activities, this uh, group form for the employees um, uh, to, to listen the opinion between boss and co-workers. Okay, very good. The team building activities. That's a very good way for you to work on these lack of communication skills. What about group number two? Diana, Juan, Manuel, Omar, uh, sorry, uh, or Rosita? Finger clarity. <laughs> yes, teacher. We chose the same, uh -huh. the lack of communication between employees. And we think that the, the things we can do to improve this, this issue, or issue? This problem uh -huh. is to uh, having, having meetings with all the team to give the information that they need to know and given directly and straight to the point so they can understand it. And also we think it is important to be a boss that can be a role model or an example for the team and to be em empathic. Em emp ah! Empathic, yes. Empathic. empathic, yes. And using assertive communication. Using assertive communication. Very good definition, right? To be a leader, to be a role model, that's important. That's very important. Thank you, group number two. And what about group number three? Teacher, sorry, I need, I want to add, add more. more. For sure, go uh, ahead. May, maybe the problem is not the employee. Uh, some, sometimes is the, the problem is in the boss. Uh, uh, the boss is the first to change to sing uh, like a leader. Okay, it's it's exactly as what Dianita was saying, right? The exactly. first, the first model, and the first uh, leader is the boss, right? And for yes. sure, the employees are going to be a very good example of a good leadership from the boss. Okay. Yes. And in some cases, the boss doesn't have to be like the only the top option of everything, but uh, to guide people on the correct path of, of doing the things correctly. Very good job. Very yeah. good point of view, uh, Mr. Juan de Dios. What about group number three? Um, we choose a lot of communication between employers. Too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, solutions in great partnership with team building activities. For example, sport activities, sacred friends, volunteer, escape room, celebrate monthly birthdays, um, days, um, for example, in my uh, company, uh, celebrate uh, uh, architect day, engineer day, um, accounts, lawyers, they oh to celebrate um, special yeah. occasions, uh huh. And uh, uh, además, besides <laughs> implement besides uh, implement the use of emails, forms, uh, 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 to have to have a to background, have, uh, a backup to have a background a background uh, for the information uh, we um, 
and uh, send. We, we uh, manage, the, right? Uh, For the information, yes. we manage. Hey, you see, group number three gave solutions to all the five problems. Why? Because they were saying that uh, they're going to have these special celebrations, special days and everything. So they are going to improve communication by using emails, forms, and all these uh, different strategies. So they are going to work on communication between employees cooperation between departments because they are going to have these special celebrations time management to have a backup of everything because in this case if you have a backup of every single thing that you do in the company you are going to uh, avoid having these inaccurate receipts and purchase orders and for sure you are going to be organized the only thing that we're not working is warehouse space and communication and organization but for the rest we are done <laughs> so group number three very good job i think all of you complement each other in a very good way right how to improve communication between employees how we do it by having a very good environment and that is the best part of all this thank you group you did a very nice job at the moment of answering this question Teacher, yes maybe five years ago i i am i was visit the volcano volcano, uh -huh. volcano of san salvador san salvador's volcano uh-huh san salvador volcano and i saw a, a group of person that all the people is uh, dressed the that the same shirt uh-huh and this group is making some activities like dynamics. I, uh -huh. I dynamics. Uh, playing with a ball and make other things in groups. But uh, I think that company is like, a, uh, I don't remember the, the name, but, but I, I know uh, or I, I saw the people was uh, interacting very well. And I think is uh, is the best way to, to know the, okay. other, the other person. Very good. People were interacting, right? People were interactive and they were dressed up in the same way, right? You, you with the team building activities, you do this, right? This is very common in companies nowadays when they go and they do these outdoor activities and they do games and dynamics and all this. In some cases, it's nice because you feel part of the team. You feel challenged to help others and you feel important for the company. So that is, that, that's a very good point of view, Mr. Jorge. Thank you for sharing it. So before we move into the grammar topic, I have the question for today. In your opinion, right? In your opinion, what is the most difficult part of your job and how do you handle it? Write down your ideas. Write down your ideas. What is the most difficult part of your job and how do you handle it? This is a personal moment. Go ahead, write down your ideas for you to keep and for you to share a very organized answer. What is the most difficult part of your job? And how do you handle it? I will give you three minutes for this answer. Three minutes.
two minutes to present. Go ahead, your answer. If you have it ready, raise your hand on the platform and leave it there. Si ya tienen sus respuestas, van a manita en la plataforma para ir participando en orden. Twenty seconds to finish. Fifteen. Finish. Five, four, three, two, one. Manuel has his hand up. Very good. Who else? Who else? <laughs> good, Dianita. Very good. Who else? Juan de Dios. Who else? Miguel, very good. Thank you, very good. Yvette, Rocio, who else? Mr. Manuel, in brief, what is the most difficult part of your job and how do you handle it? Okay, well, I consider that in my, in my board, in my apartment, I have a, 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 um, a doubt. A, Tell me. A, what do you say? Tratamiento de mensajería. Uh, well, that would be what me, 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 message, messaging, messaging department. Messaging. Uh -huh. Messaging. Messaging. Okay. Yeah, because messenger is. <laughs> It's the one from Facebook. <laughs> messaging. Okay. Messaging rep department. Okay. Go ahead. Department. Okay. Uh, I work for this department. Uh -huh. uh, so, uh, I'm in charge of, of give the daily room my work. So I, I I don't, I don't have complete uh, information for all clients. Um, sometimes we visit a client to, to get, to, are you, to take, to take, thank you, to take uh, some invoice mm -hmm. of the, the uh, the difficult part is uh, each client, each uh, company have different days to receive uh, the information to 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 give uh, checks and so in uh, conclusion we we don't have uh, the result at the end of the month. Ah. We don't, we don't, what do you say, cobra? Charge. Charge. We don't charge the, the, the goals of the month. 
The goals, metas. The sí. goals, ajá, the goals. Okay, so oh, the idea no. is that if you But don't... I, um, uh -huh. eh, no, give me, give me. No. The idea is that if you don't hand in the correct bills or the correct receipts, then you cannot charge the, that money at the end of the month. So for sure it's going to affect the accounting department because they don't have money. Yes. I, I, I am, I, uh, how do you handle it? Okay, um, well, uh, I, I still found, uh, I, I take part of my time, my time uh, of the, Of the day off, for example, uh, I uh, I analyze or I review. I check all of the, I check I check the the information and I uh, I don't know that this man is a. Uh, yo busco información adicional. You look for extra information. So, in your free time, you have to work extra on, yes. on how to solve the issue. So, yeah, by so, internet, uh, by different ways to, to have uh, more information about value. For okay. example, a few minutes ago, my, my co work uh, He was talking. He was talking about ask me for for different uh, days to to charge uh, some clients because oh the in charge of this area uh, he he go away <laughs> of the company. He left the company. So you yes, see, though these different issues are the ones that affect, right? So the most yes. difficult part of your job, the, the most difficult yes, part of, of, my, of my job is the organization in his department, right? And yes. the lack of information that he has sometimes. So yes. we take one example from Manuel. What about Diana? Tell me, what is the most difficult part of your job? Thank you, Manuel. Great job. Okay. At my work, I have to deal with different kind of people because we manage all the accounts of the call center of the company. Mm -hmm. And we do process to all of the accounts. So the most part, the most difficult part of my job is to work with leaders that are really mean and hard to work with. They don't cooperate and wanting to do things as they want without following the process. So the the things i do i do to handle this is using patient <laughs> being patient <laughs> yes and with the support of my team following the instructions of my boss she is really protected with us oh, and nice. being being polite uh, polite sorry with the leaders explaining to them how we have to do the process Okay, very good. Being polite, right? Being polite and handling these difficult people. Thank you, Diana. Very good job. So that's a very important thing for you to have all the departments working in a good way. Excellent. Juan de Dios, tell us. The more difficult for me is to take a decision that have a high impact on the more results. Uh, I handle it fiercely, finding information about how to, how to take the, the, the situation, take the situation and Involving to all to all to all interested parts and discuss together to choose the best option at the end or at a, at a result. Send an email to all about the decision about the decision. Okay, good. 
right? To work on very critical decisions, right? That are going to affect all of them. Something important, and I think this is for everybody, the pronunciation of situation, information, right? Decisions, right? You don't say, we, we tend to mark the chong, chong, chong a, a lot. I don't know why, right? Siempre es cuando estamos aprendiendo un idioma, tendemos a marcar el chong, information, uh, decision, right? It's decision, information, right? Conclusion, right? That's for us to, to fix it. And this is for everybody, right? Just for you to keep it in mind, right? Espero que todos lo trabajemos un poco más ahí, en general. Lo he ido oyendo así durante todos esos 17 días. The chon, 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 right? Information, decision, right? Conclusion, importance, conclusion, right? The, the, the thing. But Juan de Dios, very good point, right? To take important decisions at the moment of leading a team, right? That you have to know that they are going to affect others, but they have to be in the best way possible. Very good point. Jorge Humberto, what can you add? Okay, teacher. In my case, I I consider the most difficult part in my job is that we are in the deadline in the project. Then there are a lot of things to do at the same time. And everything is urgent. <laughs> everything. Then uh, the, the way to handle it is uh, stay focused all the time and, and try to, to identify, identify, uh, identify, identify which co-worker can help me in, in the best moment. In addition, uh, uh, we, we have to to look for 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 co-workers to to contratar to hire to hire to, to help us okay good <laughs> it is a very difficult moment when everything goes at the end and everything is urgent and everything is for yesterday and everything <laughs> matters and this goes along with time management because we say like we have three years for the project right we're going to do things nice at the beginning and we leave things for the last moment and then when the last moment comes it's like ah, panic because everything is important it happens for example in education i, I don't know if you have seen at the schools right at the end of the year, tarea, tarea, proyecto, 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 proyecto. <laughs> you have to do everything because everything is for yesterday. So the same thing happens on the projects, right? It's like, teníamos que hacer tres puentes y solo hemos hecho la mitad de uno. Oh my God, how are you going to do the other three? But that's what, uh, it's when the, the team comes and enters into action, right? Jorge says something important. Find the right person for the right thing to do, right? It's like the seven R's, right? To find the right person on the right moment for the right position. And it's important. Thank you, Jorge. Very interesting point of view. Uh, Yvette, tell us. Um, uh, the most difficult part of my job is deal with the people in charge of the different projects. Suddenly, everyone uh, wants something. Every, everything is urgent. Now, everybody uh, call at the past for uh, past uh, half past four. Um, yeah, how how I handle it? A lot of patience working together with my team and with the support of my boss. Okay. He's the best. Okay. He's the best. <laughs> it, that's the best thing, right? Patience. And I think you agree with Diana, right? Patience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the only thing. Don't ask for strength because that's difficult, right? Señor, dame paciencia. Fuerza no. <laughs> no. <laughs> because we <laughs> can struggle, everybody. <laughs> no. yep. Patience. Patience. <laughs> good, very good. Okay. 
<laughs> Rocío, Verónica, tell me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, we need to be very patient. A lot of yoga and meditation. <laughs> Go ahead, Rocío. Okay. Um, well, I consider the most difficult part of my job is the communication between departments. And because sometimes we manage different information and to resolve an issue. For example, today, <laughs> we had a problem, an issue with the materials that I create at SAP. And I, I, I select or flag for the lichen, for the uh -huh. And then I put in, uh, in, the, in the right way, the, 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 the same day I did uh -huh. that. It was a, a, my issue, my problem, but I resolved the, the same day. But today, this issue appears in some, in a different profile, for, for say, yeah, a profile. Uh -huh. And someone else wanted to use this material for another uh, process. Oh my God. And, and yeah, and I, and I tried to resolve with my coworkers and, and my team, right? Uh -huh. And I and and we and we did a lot of uh, crazy <laughs> ideas to try to resolve that, and and we can't resolve we that. We, we couldn't resolve that. So I talked with the. Um, the person in charge of this of this situation, and when I talk with him, I I said that we have to we have to uh, talk with the IT team, <laughs> and I send a, and I send an email to 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 try to to get the the help for this. Extra, extra teams. Think, extra, yeah, exactly. And when I did that, the, the this this guy, this this the the, the coworker in a, another team, told me that he talked with he talked before with the IT team, and they said to him that we have the solution for the problem and we oh don't have the solution because i i see team have more um experience um, experience or yeah or the abilities to resolve the the, the, the problem uh. that and i was like oh my god so what we have to do right now and we didn't resolve the problem so tomorrow we will um, try to resolve that. But you will try to solve I, the problem again. Yeah, I, that's the reason that I chose the, <laughs> the, the main problem is the communication between departments. Okay, so you yeah. see, uh, this, is, this issue that Rocio shared, it was like the sofa issue, right? She was passed from person to person and yeah. they, they can <laughs> solve it. They can solve it. Maybe they can do it, and no one could. I mean, they, they no one could do anything about the problem because they say like, I thought, I thought you had the answer. No, but I thought you could do it, and I thought you would make it. But everybody thought, and anybody did. <laughs> so poor. I I, I, under, I understand the the issue, right? Yeah. When we try to solve and. It's not your area, but you try to do it. Good. So thank exactly. you, Rocio. Very good. <laughs> Very good sharing. And Miguel Angel thank and you. then Nelson to finish. Go ahead. Miguel Angel and Nelson. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. In my case, uh, send uh, the information uh, in a timely manager via email. Um, to send information on timely manners, right? It's like on yes. time, on the moment. Yes, uh, I try. I try uh, 
not to complicate uh, myself uh, if I know my function perfect. If you know your function, right? You have to send the information as soon as possible, right? And there yes. are other people who say like, es que te lo iba a enviar. Oh my God, Eva, Eva doesn't <laughs> exist. You say like that, that's in the past. It's like send it or send it. Thank you, Miguel. So it's sending okay. information in timely manners and right on the, on the exact time. And to finish with the question, Nelson, go ahead. Good evening. Hi. Okay. Uh, and my goal, uh, the, the more difficult thing is to cut a peg. Uh, that is the Firis time is a arrow as a client. It is not easy uh, to have it. I confidence to resuit it, it. You have uh, to why? I will for it to relax and be able uh, three to do it. Okay, so the most difficult part is to deal with your clients, right? And your clients are very special because yes. they are pets. 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 Okay. So because... you have to you have to wait until the animal comes down for you to attend the animal. Is it clear? Is it is it like yes. that? Tienen que esperar a que se relaje para poderlo atender. <laughs> I will go, will go with the dog <laughs> all around. <laughs> it's like a teacher physical. Oh, no la verdad que sí. So, yes, I, I think that it's uh, well. No, hay momentos que no se puede. Hay, I, hay I, que no se les puede cortar, son muy enojados. Yes, o I nunca, imagine. Nunca los han tratado. Son perros rescatados. Cuesta oh, trabajar so, con ellos. You have very difficult clients. And the Difficult ones that you cannot, things. the ones that you cannot talk to, because most of them are understand, right? But some others yeah. they don't, right? My my little baby yeah. has that issue, right? Mi niña de esas niñas problema, vea. So I understand Nelson with the problem, right? It's like, yeah, siempre que llevo a mi querida la veterinaria me dice, se puede quedar mm -hmm. que no se deja. <laughs> It's like, mi pues niña. Que le han dicho que la van a... La van a, a dormir. Uh, no, I, I don't Pero like it. No, I don't like it. No, she's very crazy, Nelson. No, I, I, I understand her. I, I stay with her. No. It's like, yo conozco a mi caballo, le digo, me quedo con él. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you very much, Nelson. You have the, you have the most difficult okay. job. You have the most difficult job because you have the most difficult clients. Tiene los clientes a los que no se les puede hablar. Yes. <laughs> no me van a entender, they say. Good. <laughs> so, based on this one, okay. thank you. Thank you very much. And I know all of you have very important things to share and very important uh, uh, parts of your job that are very difficult, right? In order to keep on uh, the practice that we started yesterday, I have here a couple of examples, right? A couple of examples of situations, right? I know many of you have been sharing different situations about your job and about what is the most difficult thing and everything. I have here some examples on which we are going to create the second part, right? I give you only the first part of the issue and you have to create the second one, right? I need you to choose at least two or three sentences from the ones that I have here and to complement the second part of the answer with transitions or connectors, right? You can use therefore, consequently, as a result, thus, for this reason, right? And or any other connector that you want to use for the results with these situations. I have here 11 issues, right? I have 11 issues. And the first one says, the warehouse was completely disorganized. As a result, therefore, consequently, as a consequence, thus, and you give me the other part, right? La segunda parte de la oración, el resultado, ustedes lo inventan. The manager lost the receipts of all the products. Therefore, consequently, and you have to tell me the rest. The products were not in order. You give me the second part. 
the personnel was trained in all the processes. What was the result of this good action? The safety procedures were not followed. Los, eh, los procedimientos de seguridad no se siguieron. So what was the result of this? There is not enough space on the warehouse. What is the result? Workers are not being trained on new technologies. What is the result of this? Workers feel motivated and well paid. What is the result of this action? All the workforce is important for the company. Products were not handled correctly. The workers did not have the necessary safety equipment or gear. What is safety equipment or gear? It's like all the things that you use on your work, right? Que te dan un casco, chaleco, no sé, guantes, etc. Right, that is um, safety gear, right? All the equipment that you use at your work. Choose three sentences and write the complement of each of them, okay? Escojan tres y ustedes le van a poner el complemento o el resultado de esta situación. Remember to use connectors as part of the answer, right? The connectors, as I said, you can use these ones or you can use the ones that we were working before, right? For result, we can also use these ones, right? Consequently, hence, for this reason, due to, right? You can also use this type of connectors. But I am going to show the sentences again, right? I'm going to show the sentences and choose three. Escojan tres. And when you have them ready, I need you to send them on the chat. Puede ser al chat de WhatsApp o al chat de Zoom. Okay? When you have them ready, you can send them to me. Okay? Go ahead. Let's work. Grammar and writing time. Go ahead. If you need if you need help or if you have any question, don't doubt on asking. Okay, no duden en preguntar si tienen alguna duda. Please.
teacher could you show the connector, please? Okay, right now. There you have this ones. And I can also show you the other ones. You have this ones, you have this ones. And I think we can also have that we see. I think for these cases, these ones are the ones that you need to use. Yes, this is very complex. Yes. Completed. Yeah, because these are to contrast and it's now in the case we are using result. Yeah, we're using result. And for sure, here you have the phrases okay remember to when you have it ready send it to the whatsapp group or to the chat on zoom so we can actually check on writing right Así me da la oportunidad de revisar ya más allá la escritura. i have a couple of them here i have suleima okay Okay, important, it's very important. Remember the punctuation at the moment of writing, right? The punctuation at the, at the moment of writing with the connectors is important. If you have the first sentence, remember after this first sentence, period, capital, comma, okay? Tenemos que poner el punto, la mayúscula y la coma después del conector. In the case of Silvia, it says the warehouse was completely disorganized, punto. Consequently, Comma, I didn't find the red shoes. The next one, workers feel motivated and well paid. Punto. For this reason, comma, eh, they work very good. Okay. Be careful with punctuation. Thank you. Thank you, Silvita. Thank you. Eh, I have one on the chat on Zoom. Let's see. Eh, very good. Cristia, thank you. The products were not in order, comma. For this reason, comma, we will have a problem with the customer. Okay, cuando ocupamos coma y, ma y minúscula, tiene que ser eh, punto y coma antes, de ahí conector y coma. Workers are not being trained on new technologies punto y coma, as a result, coma, we will have some issues with the times, hey, with the times for to do. Ok, cuando ocupamos for, no ocupamos to. En este caso, puede ser, we will have some issues with the times to do, the different, different, eh, los adjetivos nunca son plurales, decimos different without the S, tasks. Porque lo que es plural ahí es los, eh, las asignaciones, the tasks. So you say, uh, workers are not being trained on new technologies. As a result, we will have some issues with the times to do the different tasks. Okay, let's correct okay. that one. Thank you. Uh, the warehouse was completely disorganized. Coma, we need to hire a warehouse assistant. Ajá. Eh, Miguel, en este caso lo que nos falta es el connector. The warehouse was completely disorganized. Uh, punto. Therefore, we needed to, to hire a warehouse assistant. The products were not in order. Coma. There are many products that have already expired. Okay. Eh, 
therefore or consequently as a result there were many products that have already expired okay the entire workforce workforce is important for the company for prestige and placement in the market okay nos hacen falta los conectores miguel okay thank you and let's see diana the manager lost the receipts of all the products a semicolon as a result comma we were able to report the exact sales perfect Workers are not being trained on new technologies, period. Consequently, comma, they are failing on the new processes. Very good job. And number 10, products were not handled correctly, uh, semicolon, for this reason, comma, all the products are damaged with the idea, damaged. Very good, excellent sentences. Uh, Jorge, the safety procedures were not followed. Consequently, we have people with injuries in the skin. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> With injuries, with, recuerdo ese error de mi vida estudiantil, with es W, a, es las W y TH, tuve una licenciada en la universidad que me lo puso y lo tuve que escribir cinco mil veces, with, <laughs> I remember, I think I was traumatized because of that, yeah, I forgot always, yes, I used to have that problem. Right? Ya voy a hablar con Diana ahí para una sesión de psicología. <laughs> Tengo el trauma. <laughs> with injuries in the skin. Yeah, I had to write it 5,000 times. With, 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 with. But thank God I don't do it anymore. <laughs> the products were not in order. Uh, order. Frequently, we are expecting a lot of time to fill out the purchases and sent late to the customers. Okay, Juan de Dios, tenemos que tener mucho cuidado en no comernos las letras y no poner letras extra. That's a very common thing in English, but we need to, to, to be careful on that one. Order, for example, you have an extra R. Frequently, we are spending a lot of time to fill, to fill out the purchase, the purchase orders and send late to the customers. Okay, send with the at the end. The warehouse was completely disorganized. As a consequence, uh, Carolina, as a consequence or consequently, we have to choose if we are saying as a consequence or as a consequence or consequently. Nothing can be found in it. <laughs> yeah, it's a big mess. The warehouse was completely disorganized. As a consequence, we had to organize it again. Very good. Ayer se quedaron dos trabajadores en unas almacenes ahí trabajando. <laughs> A la fuerza. <laughs> Workers are not being trained on new technologies. For this reason, comma, they could not finish their work on time. Very good job. The warehouse was completely disorganized, consequently, of not hiring. Their... <laughs> consequently, okay, in that, in that case, Jose Rodrigo, we say the warehouse was completely disorganized. Consequently, we had to hire, we had to hire, tuvimos que contratar the right personnel, right? Or you can say, as a consequence of not hiring the right person. Products were not handled correctly. As a result, there are many bottles damaged eh, or broken, right? Jorge, you say damage, con D al final, damage, dañadas, or broken. Broken, just like that, okay, sin S. Damage okay. or broken. Ya ven la importancia de escribir las oraciones. Ahí ya les puedo ir viendo cómo escribe. En el salón de clases les hubiera agarrado el cuaderno uno por uno. <laughs> the products were not in order. Therefore, we cannot take good inventory. Very good. The warehouse was completely disorganized due to a lack of consideration for inventory and employee safety. Good. All the workforce is important for the company. Hence, their abilities, knowledge, and experience. Eh, okay. All the workforce is important for the company. Hence, their abilities, knowledge, and experience can't be replaced. Quitemos el dat, pero está, it was correct. Products were not handled correctly. As a result, most of them have been damaged, have been damaged, and it could bring extra costs. Workers are not being trained on new technologies for this reason. These assignments are late. <laughs> good, Olga, very good. The products were not in order, therefore, the warehouse, the warehouse is con a warehouse was completely disorganized, Nelson. The workers did not have the necessary equipment, necessary con doble S. The necessary, I have it right here. 
por aquí está necessary. Doble S. Therefore, they lost the... <laughs> for this reason, they couldn't, they couldn't enter, Jorge, to the warehouse. Therefore, they lost the meeting. Products were not handled correctly. Uh, therefore, we train the employees on the handling of the products. Very good, Norma, very good. Workers felt, feel motivated and well paid. As a consequence, they, they effort to achieve the company's objectives. Very good job, right? As you can see, it is a very good way for you to practice your grammar. Thank you for the ones that are sending them on the chat as well. I have uh, the workers did not have the necessary safety equipment or gear. As a result, most of them they have accidents frequently. Frequently, no frequency, no. Products were not handled correctly. Consequently, the products have uh, the products were broke. Bro were broke. The products were not in order. For this reason, we didn't find the correct piece. Very good. Sylvia, the manager lost the receipts of all the products. Consequently, very good. Good, good punctuation. Consequently, I didn't pay the new merchandise. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> they didn't receive the money. And the safety procedures were not followed. For this reason, the company had to pay a lot of money for the consequences of that. Very good. For that, no, of that. And workers feel motivated and well paid. As a result, they finish the job on time every day. Very good, eh, Rocio. And products were not handled correctly. Thus, the clients didn't want to pay for these products for sure. Claudia, the products were not in order. Consequently, the shipment haven't sent it. Okay, they are there. The personnel was trained in all the processes. As a result, we won't have problems with the logistics. Very good. And the products were not handled correctly. Therefore, the products are disorganized in the warehouse. So with the, com with the comments that I did, I think it was good. Now all of you are using the correct punctuation. And it is important that you check on every single thing. A veces se nos va una letra, se nos va una palabra, se nos va algo. Así que hay que tener mucho cuidado. Remember, when you use for, you don't use to do. Okay, después de for no ocupan to. It's a very common mistake. You say for to go, for yes. to do, for to see. It's not correct, right? You use only the infinitive or only the gerund, like for going, for doing, right? Después de for, vamos a ocupar un ing. No vamos a ocupar un to, okay? Very good job, my dear team. Very nice. Very nice form of working. Remember at the beginning of the sentence, always capital, okay? Siempre mayúscula al principio de la oración y punto al final. Esos son detallitos que el inglés los tiene que tener muy, muy en cuenta. Porque eh, le dan buena presencia al momento de escribir un correo, por ejemplo, o algo importante. Okay, so we are going to devote this final... Eh, 15 minutes of the class after the attendance, for sure. We're going to call the attendance before going over my friend, the conditionals, right? We're going to start the, like the introduction for the conditionals. Hoy vamos a hacer la introducción a las formas condicionales. Un tema un poco ahí que todos le tienen miedo, no sé por qué. Pero no, no es tan complicado. Ya van a ver. No me lo estigmatizo. For eh, this reason, I don't understand. For this reason, yeah, because many people make the the bad uh, promotion on, on this topic. <laughs> okay, eh, people, eh, de todos, ¿quiénes todavía me faltan de la sesión uno a uno? Eh, ahí los voy a ir nombrando y me dicen si ya, si ya está marcada, ya lo podemos ir. Porque algunos se me han saltado porque no tenían o no estaban presentes el día que les correspondía y lo hemos ido saltando. En el caso de Carolina, ya la tuvimos, ¿verdad? Fue nuestra primera. Ya. Yeah. ¿Qué? Okay. Claudia María. Ya, yeah, teacher. Ya la tuvimos, ya. La recuerdo. Veamos. Eh, y ahí aprovecho de irles pasando la lista de un solo. Cristian Natalie. Here, teacher, and yes, yes, I yes. Have I already have it, right? Good. And uh, Dianita, yes, right. Diana Elizabeth, here and um, yes, yes. Jorge Humberto, yes, yes. Here I am. And we have it already, right? Ya tuvimos la sesión yes. también con usted. Jose Carlos, ya estuvo. 
ya, don. <risa> yo, yo lo siento como cuando, cuando pasan a la, a la oficina de, de dirección, vea. Es like, ay, me toca quedarme con el director. <risa> José Rodrigo. Present teacher. Ok, ya tuvimos la sesión con usted, Rodrigo. Yes, teacher. Yes, I remember. Juan de Dios. Yes, También. Teacher. Linda y Beth. Linda. Hey, Linda. Linda is not here today. Se me ha perdido, Linda. Manuel Antonio. Ya estuvo. Ya la tuvimos. Eh, Miguel Ángel. Yes. Ya la estuvo también. Nelson también ya estuvimos. Yes. Norma Carolina. Gracias, Ticha. Okay. Ya tuvimos la sesión también con Normita. Sí. Eh, Olga Marlene. Olga. Hola, Olga. Por ahí la tengo, pero no me oye. Olga, hello. Ok, ya me va a contestar por ahí, por ahí está. Eh, Rocío Verónica, ya estuvo también. Present. Ya estuvimos. Yes, we have. Rosa Beatriz. Present. And yes, we have. And yes. Silvia Zuleima, también ya la tuvimos. Tatiana Michelle. Tati. Con Tati no la hemos tenido todavía, creo. ¿Y Bill My Bet? No, teacher. Todavía no. Ok, no. entonces. Ahí estamos. Hoy será nuestro día. <ríe> hoy, no, hoy nos vamos a quedar un ratillo platicando. Marlene. Marlene Nicole. Hoy no está Marlene. Eh, Omar Francisco. No, teacher. Todavía no lo hemos tenido, vea. Y Dani, no. que todavía me falta también. Dani. Ok, good. So, there we go. Ok, I'm going to stay a bit with Yvette at the end of the class. Ok, thank you, my dear students, for also uh, participating on the attendance, right? Because that was a very good way to do it. Excellent. So, let's go back to what we were doing. Here, before we move into the, into the part of the conditionals, we're going to work a bit on this type of vocabulary that I was missing, right? Este vocabulario que se nos había quedado ahí, eh, todavía pendiente, right? Drop shipping. Have you heard about the term drop shipping? ¿Ya han escuchado acerca de ese término? No idea? Drop shipping? No. 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 Okay. I, I just, um, I just, uh, open. okay, right, but drop, chick, drop yeah, shipping, drop. drop shipping, it says drop. that the retailer does not keep goods in stock, but instead transfer customers' orders and shipment details to the manufacturer, another retailer, or a wholesaler who then ships the goods directly through to the customers, right? Drop shipping is like when, when you do, for example, with uh, the Amazon products, right? That he's just mm -hmm. giving out all the things to the different people uh, who is uh, buying the different things, right? It's like, uh, you need this, here it is. You need this, here it is. It's like a pedidos ya, right? <laughs> it's like, you need it, we take it, right? A public warehouse. What is a public yeah. warehouse? Can you read it? I have a little line there. What is a public warehouse? It is a, a storage. storage facility that is storage open that to is the general open. public. While this kind of, this kind this kind of, of warehouse is used, used, used by private, private individuals. individuals. They, they are also used, used by companies, companies of small to medium size to store their goods safely. Very good. 
And it says a private warehouse. It's owned by a third party entity. This warehouse provides specialized services in addition to allowing the clients to store goods, right? But you have to pay. Direct shipping, it's a method of delivering goods to the supplier, from the supplier to the customer directly, right? It's like, I have it, you need it, here you go. Right, and a contract warehouse, it is operated as an independent business offering a range of services such as a storage, handling, and transportation on the basis of a fixed variable fee, right? Because you hire this type of warehouse, right? When you don't have a space on yours, you get one of these ones and they manage everything for you, right? That's a contract warehouse. It is operated as an independent business offering a range of services such as storage, handling, and transportation on the basis of a fixed variable or variable fee. So that is, uh, those are like the different forms, like a public warehouse, a private warehouse, a contract warehouse is the one that you have to pay a little bit for it. Drop shipping, it's a person that is in charge of giving out the things. And direct shipping is when you personally take the products to the customer. Right. Those were uh, some parts of the vocabulary that we were missing about the warehouse. Right. Hasta aquí sentí el suspiro. Ya ven por qué no me enamoré. Yes. Uh, one question: When yep. do you use goods or stuff? When you use what? Goods or stuff well goods are like the same as products right son como los productos los bienes los, los bienes materiales those are goods and stuff is just like cosas in general things things well things will be general as well it will be like ah, all the things in the house right but you don't generalize as, as if they are important or not or as if they are products or not but if you say, if you have a company, for example, and you manage a lot of goods, are the things that you have paid for, right? They are valuable. And they are like, mm, I have them here and they are money for me. They represent money for me, right? So goods in this case is like, son todos esos bienes que tenemos, que ocupamos, right? So they represent a certain inversion, certain money, right? Things are just like anything, un guacal, una tela, una toalla, it can be a thing, right? It's something in general, right? And stuff is like cosas in general as well. So that's the difference. Good because you, it represents an inversion or a, a different amount of money for you. Okay, that will be okay. Good. Here, what is an if clause, right? An if clause in the first case, right? You have it in the general form. And the main clause will be with will. Why? Because it's uncertain, right? I was telling you at the beginning of the class, what happens if you miss the class? I will not learn. I will fail the module. I will not be able to do it, right? And you have the two forms, right? If it rains, he will bring his umbrella. He won't play outside. He will bring his umbrella if it rains right? But we never know, right? It's a little bit uncertain. What happens if you forget your pencil at school? You are not going to be able to copy the class, right? Let's, uh, I'm going to do it in a little example, okay? Lo vamos a hacer en un pequeño ejemplo aquí. And I will take my screen, okay? Let's see. Let's do the example here. If I, if I forget my pencil, I won't copy the class. And what happens if you don't copy the class, people? Well, no. Aha. Let's see, I, we're going to keep on, on building it up. Let's see, okay. And it says, if I don't copy the class, if I do not copy the class, I won't learn. Okay, and what happens if you don't learn?
What will happen? Si no aprendemos, ¿qué pasa? The teacher punishing. <laughs> if I do not learn, the teacher will punish me. Okay. Qué, qué mal teacher, son los teacher golpeadores, vea. Diana, ahí hay otros clientes. <laughs> the teacher will lecture me. Punish implica golpe físico. Lecture is like, mire, niño, bla, 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 bla. So that's lecture, okay? <laughs> ya los tiempos del golpe ya pasaron. <laughs> yeah, so I, I remember that I had a principal. Yo tuve una directora en, como en sexto grado que del pantalón los levantaba a los niños. And he used to hit her like, pla, 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 with the ruler. <laughs> it was, it was horrible. <laughs> so, eh, donde te hicieron tanto daño es like remembering school <laughs> going back that's the reason we are punctual yeah <laughs> we are very very responsible so if I don't learn the teacher will lecture me what happens if the teacher lectures me uh -huh. what happens if the teacher lectures me ¿Qué va a pasar si el teacher me regaña? I fail. I will fail. <laughs> okay, I will fail. I will be embarrassed. I will be embarrassed, right? Mm -hmm. And if I fail, what will happen? ¿Qué pasa si, si, si dejo el módulo? Si fallo. If I fail? I cry. I will cry. Uh -huh. <laughs> And if you cry? What will happen? I will lose. I will, I will be lost. Okay, si llora se va a perder. Okay, I will be lost. And what happens if you are lost? What, what happens? Uh -huh. If you are lost, um, what happens? I I, I will call for I did, help. I did die. Uh-huh. I will call for help. I will okay. I will look for help. Okay. I will. And if I look for help. I will pay I will for a consultant. I don't know. Okay, if I if I look for help. I will spend money. I will spend money, right? Because you need to pay. You need to pay the person, right? And if you spend money, what happens? Will be poor. Yeah, I will be poor, right? If I spend money, I will be poor, right? I will be poor. So what is the learning of the night? What is the learning of the night? Please don't forget, your pens. Don't forget your pens. <laughs> don't forget your pens. <laughs> what is the learning of the night? Don't forget your pencil for the class, right? All the time. Because if you forget the pencil, you won't copy the class. And all these things are going to happen. Imagine, and in the end, you are going to spend your time and you are going to end up poor, <laughs> right? So you see the importance of the clauses and you see the importance of pencils. So keep your pencil, keep your pencil with you all the time in class. All, all the action has a reaction. All the actions have a consequence, right? All the actions have a little consequence behind them. So this is the main idea of these cases of uh, the if clauses of result. Right, and we're going to go back to the presentation. Please show me your pencil. Let me see. Don't sell a pizero, eh, lapis. Vamos a ver. We are going to survive. We're not going to be poor. Very good. Show me your pencil. <laughs> Very good. You see, it's important, right? It's important. Cada vez que le pregunten, ¿quién anda un lapicero? Yo, 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 yo. Y lo saque de la cartera, se va a acordar de mí. Y va a decir, no, teacher Nati nos enseñó que siempre hay que andar un lápiz. <laughs> siempre. If not, I will be poor, you say. You need to be very careful. So, 
how do you use it, right? You use it for a real conditional. It is also called conditional one. It describes what you think you will do in a specific situation in the future. It is different from other real conditional forms because unlike the present or the past, you do not know what will happen in the future. Although this, is, uh, this form is called real, you are usually imagining or guessing about the future. It is called real because it is still possible that the action might occur in the future, right? Todas esas acciones son posibles. Pueden suceder si una cosa no está. So if you don't have the pencil, all these things can happen. So you have to be very careful at the moment of using this type of conditional. And I have here a couple of examples, right? Here, before we go, important, right? When you use if or when. Can you help me to read? Let's see, Claudia Maria. Important if and when. Both if and when are used in the future real conditional, but the use is different from other real conditional form. In the future real conditional, if yes. suggests that you do not know if something will happen or not. When suggest that something will definitely happen at some time. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't, <laughs> at some time. Very well. I was writing still with the, with the idea, right? That something will still happen at some time, right? For sure. Here, I have the two examples that are presented on the manual, right? Classes, 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 classes with when or if. It describes what you think you will do or what will happen in a specific situation in the future, right? What is the example with when? Can everybody help me to read? When, uh, when, when there are, when there are purchase there are orders, 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 customer orders, customer orders, selection orders, will compromise. Will be compromised. Uh, compromised. Uh, that's the first one, right? Or, or or customer, or customer satisfaction, satisfaction will be compromised will be when, compromised there are when there are purchase inaccurate orders. purchase orders. Okay, you can have it in both cases, right? You can have when there are inaccurate purchase orders, customer satisfaction will be compromised. Or customer satisfaction will be compromised when there are inaccurate purchase orders. What is the example with if? Sir, I have a question. Yep. But uh, what about the active voice and the passive voice? I see some like this in this sentence. Okay. Uh, the active voice and the passive voice is another type of topic that it's a bit more complicated. In this one, we are just working on um, predicting what it's going to happen, right? So in this case, the active and passive voice is another topic that we need to handle a little bit more. But what is your the point, Jose Carlos? G give me your, your... Okay, because we can use the same sentence in different ways uh -huh. and in the... the same meaning, right? Exactly like that. So in this case, it's because we are predicting, right? And both cases can affect, right? And when you say, when there are inaccurate purchase orders, the customer satisfaction will be compromised. Or you can say, the customer satisfaction will be compromised when there are inaccurate purchase orders. In this case, is one of these examples of the order of tomatoes is not going to affect the cheer mode, right? So- Are the disorder? Yes, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, in the disorder, yes. But in this one, this is not active or passive. This is okay. predictions. Okay, okay, thank you. Active and passive, it's another $5 that are a little bit more complicated, <laughs> but they are not, they are not difficult. They, I think they have stigmatized them as oh, the active boys. So it is not that complicated, but in this case, we're working with predictions. And when you use when and if, um, you can use when with will and if with will, because you have the example here, as you can see, you have when there are inaccurate purchase orders, comma, customer satisfaction will be compromised. Usamos when con will y usamos if with will. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Y lo que le decía aquí en este, en esta slide. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Que cuando usamos if, 
uh, maybe we do so not yes. know, right? We do not know is if something will happen, right? If todavía no da el espacio para dudar si va a pasar o no. Pero cuando usamos when, we are sure that something will happen at some moment in the time, right? Okay. Todavía if lo ocupamos y puede ser como mm, pueda que pase o no. Pero cuando usamos when, es que eso sí está pasando. Por okay. ejemplo, aquí, cuando usamos eh, órdenes de compra inapropiadas, obviamente comprometemos el, el cliente. Y eso es seguro. When you lose time at your work, you will need it later. And that's for sure, right? When you don't get the correct price, the company will lose money because it's something right. But if I say, if there is lack of communication between employees, productivity will decrease. Esa es como una probabilidad. Si esto pasa, esto va a estar afectado. Pero no en un 100%. Porque pueda que no pase. Right? Productivity will decrease if there is lack of communication between employees. So the level of uh, possibility with when, it's really high. With if, it's like 50-50. It can happen or not. Right? And in this case, we have the example with will. With if, productivity will decrease if there is lack of communication between employees. I have many more examples that we are going to be working on this topic tomorrow. So this is the introduction for or if clauses, okay? Para mañana, traigan el lápiz afilado porque tenemos un montón de ejemplos que vamos a hacer. So have a beautiful night, my dear class. I am going to see you tomorrow with the uh, second part of this class, ok, conéctense mañana para parte 2 <laughs> parte 2 de las if classes have a beautiful night, I'm going to stay for a moment with Yvette have a great night, thank you my dear class bye everybody see you tomorrow bye thank you bye bye, take care see you tomorrow bye 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 Bye, Mr. Jorge. Hello, Yvette. Thank you for staying a little bit longer. I know it's difficult. We're going to spend like five minutes in this meeting. What, uh, how have you felt in classes? ¿Cómo se ha sentido en las clases? No, come on, right? It's like, it's it's a matter of, of learning. No, but you have advanced a lot. I mean, at the beginning, it was very difficult for you to organize the ideas. And now, when you are like, uh, when you are expressing, when you are participating, I can see that your confidence is increasing and that you feel a lot more uh, like confident at the moment of participating. Yeah. When I, I talk to... Armar las oraciones. Cuando no menciono palabras que me trajo. When, when you need to create the sentences. You know, yeah. this is the importance of vocabulary. Because when you get like a lot of vocabulary, you are going to be able to build up better sentences, right? Because you have more for you to get. Uh, and that's why I really like when I present vocabulary, I like to give you a lot of options, right? A mí me gusta siempre darles como todas estas opciones de, de vocabulario para que tengan un abanico de posibilidades. And you say like, ah, I can use this one or this one or this one. And you are not using the same words all the time. That's why I also recommend about the videos, right? And about the videos on the manual. Hay muchos videos en el manual que pueden utilizar ustedes, que los pueden poner, los pueden poner con los subtítulos y todo, y ahí ir agarrando como más ideas, más vocabulario, más palabras, más conectores. But it is a matter of, I know you have a lot of work to do every day, right? Yo sé que es una mujer bien ocupada y que pasa bien a tarea todo el día. But in the moment that you have a space, um, get to see the videos. Try to get some ideas on writing. If you see a new word, get it and write it, right? Try to use it in a sentence, right? Every time that you get a new word, try to use it in a sentence. Agarra una palabra nueva, haga una oración. Hicimos oraciones ahora, por ejemplo, con eh, esos conectores. Agarre las otras, 
try to do the rest of sentences. Create your own sentences, create your own examples, because that is going to help you to increase your vocabulary. Si hicimos una oración con, por ejemplo, la de lápiz, que se fue fijando que fui haciendo como una de otra, de otra, de otra, de otra. That's a very good way for you to practice. If you want to start from the bottom, get the example of the alphabet that we did some days ago. El ejemplo que hicimos con el alfabeto, que todos mm -hmm. iban llenando el vocabulario de the business. That's a very good way. So try to get vocabulary, try to get new words for you to complement uh, this idea. What is something, what is the most difficult part of English for you, Yvette? Mm, writing. Yeah. Writing. Yes. Uh, speaking um, uh, <laughs> Okay. Okay, for the problems we have, like for example, speaking, it's working. But the writing, we have difficulties still. For writing. Yeah, yeah. When I listen to the, the vocabulary and the words, I, 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 I know mm -hmm. the, the meaning. Okay. But uh, writing is difficult to Okay, for the writing, it is important that the best thing to do, and it's like uh, there is the best solution to do, it's to create things on writing, right? To, to check a lot. The first thing that you can do is to start reading a little bit more. Okay, writing se complementa un montón con reading. Y si usted quiere empezar a escribir más, tiene que leer un poco más. Okay. Es así como de todo lo que voy leyendo y las estructuras que voy viendo, las estructuras de las oraciones y todo, esas son las que puedo ir recreando. For you to improve your writing, right? And uh, there are, for example, uh, now on, on internet, there are many sites on which you can write the sentences and it checks them for you, right? Hay un sitio ya en, 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 en su computadora, no sé si usted ocupa laptop para trabajar. No, okay. Desktop. desktop. Ah, but even better. So if you have a desktop, uh, there is this program on which you can write and it helps you to check, right? Y ya le ayuda a revisar la parte escrita. And it gives you solutions and it gives you compliments, right? And something good that you can do, for example, is to look for phrases, right? Look for phrases, not only words, right? Cuando busque información, busque ya en, en frases, en más detalles. ¿Para qué? Para que usted las pueda ir recreando y pueda ir escribiendo mucho más. Otra cosa que siento que me cuesta un poco es la conjugación de los verbos. Yo anteriormente estuve en clases de inglés, pero yo aprendí bastante viendo series Exacto. en inglés. Sí, eso ayuda mucho. Sí, entonces cuando me hicieron el examen, quedé en un nivel, en cierto nivel, ya habían visto los verbos. Nah. Y hoy otra vez hicieron el examen y quedé en este nivel. Y entonces siento que en los verbos sí estoy un poco. Yes, it's because, I mean, the verbs and the different forms of verbs, it's very complicated if you don't practice them. For example, mm -hmm. a, a very good recommendation that I can make is that a, try to keep, try to keep a, a, a little journal of your day and before you go to sleep, Try to write it. Todos los días les pregunto esto y eso lo hago para ver que ustedes practiquen los verbos. Siempre les digo, what were the highlights of your day? ¿Qué fue lo importante del día? Escríbalo. Okay. Today was a very difficult day because of this and this and this. I had to do this and this. Pero si usted agarra como la costumbre de escribir un poco todos los días, va a ir mejorando mucho la conjugación. Y ahí lo lee y dice, ah, no, aquí, uy, aquí puse presente y estoy hablando en pasado. Aquí puse tal y estoy hablando de ahora, que ya pasó. So you can have the chance to actually correct the use of the different forms of the verbs. But it's a, a very specific trick that you can do to write a little paragraph every day, but to be constant. Okay? Ser constante en eso de irlos como escribiendo todos los días, todos los días. Ahí les pregunto yo todos los días, ¿cómo estuvo su día? ¿Qué hicieron ahora? Para que ustedes ocupen este conocimiento del pasado y digan, ah, I did this and this, I enjoyed it, I worked, I talked, I uh, was working, I 
uh, well, I was fighting with the team, but we solved the problem, right? But I need you to create the, the phrases, right? And if you like to watch a series, it is also good that you continue doing it with the subtitles in English, right? Because it helps you to get the structures of the sentences. So that it's a very important part of this. And how are you going to improve writing? Through practice. I need you to practice, get examples, ¿ok? A veces no es muy difícil más que agarrar un ejemplo e irlo cambiando. Por ejemplo, if you say, I like oranges, I like bananas, I like strawberries, I love, I like fruits, I like vegetables. Y ahí va haciendo más oraciones, ocupando el vocabulario. If you say like, the warehouse is disorganized, the warehouse is big, the warehouse is uh, extremely, uh, what, organized. Y con una misma oración puede ir creando más ejemplos para que ahí poquito a poco usted vaya incrementando su vocabulario. Ok, so eh, I will keep on, on sharing these eh, phrases, grammar ideas. And also, I, I think I have some charts about the verbs. Creo que tengo unos cuadros de los verbos irregulares, pasados, las formas de pronunciación. I think I'm going to bring them to all the group because all the group needs it. <laughs> Ok, so Yvette, thank you very much. Eh, me motiva a traérselos a todo el grupo porque he visto que muchos tienen dificultades con los pasados todavía, con las conjugaciones. Así que quizás por ahí del viernes para cerrar la semana vamos a hacer un repaso de los past tenses. Please. Ok, thank you, thank you Yvette. Have a beautiful night, go to rest and I'm going to see you tomorrow in class, ok? Thank you. Bye bye, have a good, have a good night, bye bye. Thank you. Bye.